Last few weeks were pretty hard on me. I went through a lot of mental breakdown about work, studies, five years from now, my whole existence, my life in general. Last week, I sat down and acknowledged and wrote down everything that was just eating me up from inside. And I kind of realized that I have been too hard upon myself lately. And it's time to give rest to myself. So I went on a road trip, short road trip. And the next day, the very next day, I got sick. And it fucking felt that the displacement was just zero. I ended up being where I started, which further added on to my mental breakdown, which further made me more sick. You know, when the dark phase starts, something or the other just happens simultaneously. And it was happening with me and I was stressing out and just fueling the bonfire inside me simultaneously. The latter half of the week, I was getting better and everything was kind of getting back to normal. But I was not ready for everything to be normal again. And so I decided to give myself the time and space that I wanted, that I deserve to have every now and then, to have a restart. So how you guys are doing? So basically I woke up around 6, 6, 17 to be more specific. It's 7.20 and let's start the day. So I made a self-care list yesterday and the first thing that I wanted to do early in the morning is to make myself a good warm glass of water so i'll do that for me an early morning detox sets the vibe for the day hydrating your body is very important to decrease stress and anxiety i have some lukewarm water and squeeze half a lemon onto it it helps me in flushing out all the toxins from the system it also helps in purifying the blood inside the body and is also good for the digestive system and the liver Drinking water is done. Now I will brush my teeth. Good brush. I like my whole family use this Hydrant K sensitive teeth toothpaste. So even I use that. A happy and stress-free morning means a happy day. So as I said, do all the things that makes you happy. Blast in your favorite music while freshening up and dance and sing and just Feel the positivity around you. If you feel positive, you will manifest it and eventually attract positivity from various sources in your life. Make sure to take care of yourself. Morning routines and night routines seems very fancy and time taking. So most of us think of it as a facade and avoid doing or having these routines. But even five minutes of self care at night and in the morning is important. Spending a little time washing your face, applying moisturizer is a way of taking care of yourself. Appreciate yourself. What goes in is what you become. Food is one of the most important thing for living, right? So why not put good things inside? Eating healthy never goes waste. You can always make healthy food taste good. If not, take help from YouTube. Making yourself a meal is therapeutic. Trust me on that. But also, if you are craving your favorite soup from your favorite restaurant, have it. In winters, I usually use hot oil for my hair. Olive oil and castor oil are my favorites, the oils that I use throughout the year, including essential oils in hair oils, body lotion and moisturizer never goes waste. 
since i am so susceptible to cold i avoid using lemon on body or hair in winters especially to remove or avoid dandruff tea tree oil becomes my savior especially in winters it helps in removing the dandruff on my scalp and helps in avoiding build ups too massages are stress relieving period studies have shown massage is an effective treatment for reducing pain muscle tension and stress so next time if you are planning to oil your hair which is important for beautiful and healthy hair make sure to take a couple of minutes extra to get yourself a good massage which you deserve Lemon did the inner detox but what about the body outside the day to day exposure to various pollutants germs nowadays viruses are trending all thanks to miss rona what i'm trying to say in here is that have a deep cleanse every now and then i don't use a wide ton of product but everything that i use will be mentioned in the description box scrubbing your face is good But what about the dead skin cells on your body which might have germs trapped in them? A good body scrub will just solve the problem. Just like the skin your scalp is important too. So make sure to use a gentle shampoo that helps in removing all the dirt and pollutants from your scalp. And just a side note, don't forget your ears. I use this body lotion from VLCC and olive oil as moisturizer cuz it is important to restore the moisture in the skin after cleansing it thoroughly. Also at the end of the day I washed and brushed and scrubbed my face. I did it at the night but it doesn't mean that I do this process every night. After scrubbing I used my favorite charcoal mask. Here I just want to put it out there that you need not have to do each and every thing that I did in this video. You can just be lazy and relax and chill the whole day. Binge watch the Netflix series that you wanted to watch for a very long time. All I want to say is that do what makes you mentally calm and happy. These are some of the things that I did that day to feel good and happy again. Remember, every question doesn't have just only one solution. Right. This video is very near to my heart and I just can't wait to share episode number 2 of the series with you all. But till then, we'll definitely meet in the next video.